Welcome to YSD Hour of Code Week, Minecraft TNT Pyramid. Today we're going to be making a pyramid. So first I need to open up my code and start a new project. And I'm going to call this project New Pyramid. Click Create. I know my project needs to go in the on start. That's where all my programming is going to go. But I'm actually going to start with a function. So I need to start with one row first. So I'm going to call this one make row 10. That's going to be the bottom row of my pyramid. Okay, now I need to do something called a loop. Now, yes, we've used loops before, but this is a different kind of loop. This loop will be an index loop. Here, for index from 0 to, and then we're going to put a number in there. Now, I also need to put something in the on start. I need to go up to my agent because I am using an agent. And I want my agent to teleport to where I am so that way, no matter where I am in Minecraft, my agent will be there next to me. And I'm also going to set a block right up here on top of my index. And I don't want to use grass, of course. And I told you we're going to be using TNT. So there's my TNT. All right, and count one. I wanted to put it in the first block inside of my inventory. And now for my index. Now what this means is it's going to count out 10. It did say four, but we changed it to 10. Okay, and inside of there, what do we want it to do 10 times? Well, we're going to want it the agent to place a block and move. So I'm going to put in here place block, but I don't want it to place it in front of him. I want to place it in behind him. And then I'm going to want him to move forward. And again, he's going to do this 10 times. Now, why didn't we use the other loop? I'll show you in just a minute. I'm going to use this variable here change index by one. This is important because it's going to make the program actually count on its own. So that's why we're using the index in the loop. Now we're going to call make row 10, which is what we just created. I'm going to go back to my agent. And I'm going to make my agent, I need to make a move a little bit. So I'm going to make a move forward by three. Just to move away from me so that way when he does do the programming, he's not exactly right next to me. Okay, so now I'm going to make a new function. And this function is going to be called make eight. So make a new function. And the reason I'm going to say make eight instead of make nine is because I want to take one off of each side so that way it's even. Do make eight. And I'm going to copy everything that I had in make row 10 and put that into make eight. Except in the index part, I'm going to change the 10 to eight. that right inside there. All right, there we go. So now I have make eight. And then for my agent, after I make row 10, I'm going to want my agent to go up by one row. And I'm going to want him to turn to the right and turn to the right again because I have to kind of turn him around so he can make another row right on top of the row he just made. All right, so he goes up one row, turns right, turns right, and then we're going to make him go forward also. And we're going to change this here. We're going to put three in here just to see if that's the right number. 
I'm kind of wondering about that, but we're going to try it. And then I'll do the make or call make eight. So let's see what this looks like. There he goes. There's the 10. Oh, and there's the eight. Notice that it needs to go over one more. Is there's two on one side and zero on the other side. So that's not going to make a pyramid. So I need to move that second row over. So I'm going to make my agent move forward by four instead of three. Okay. I'm going to make a new function. This is going to be make six. Now, once again, I'm going to copy what was in the make eight, put everything in here and change eight to six. Okay, sounds easy enough, right? Now I'm going to need my agent to turn again. So I'm going to go up another row. And I'm going, instead of making him turn to the right, he's going to have to turn to the left. Because he's on the other side now. So we're going to make him turn left and left again. And then, of course, we're going to also make him move forward by four. Okay, and then we're going to call make six. Let's see what this looks like. There's 10, there's eight, there's six. Look at that. Everything is, is looking just right. Okay, so now let's do a new function. Let's do, um, we're going to do go up right. Because if you notice, I'm, ha I'm having to put in, make my agent go up, then turn right, turn right, and go forward. So why not make a, that a function so I don't have to keep doing that over and over and over again. So I'm going to copy this, put this right in here, and go right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attach the make 8 to the make 10. And I'm going to make another function. And this one's going to be go up left. This is the one where I'm going to be turning to the left. Okay, and now I'm going to take off the, the uh, call make 6, the bottom here. And I'm going to take that going up and turning to the left, turning to the left and moving forward and put that in go left. So now I have a function of go up right and go up left. So I'm going to go to my functions. I'm going to call go up right. I'm going to put that right underneath make row 10. So he'll make the row, then turn to the right. Then I'm going to alternate. Now he's going to go up left. I'm going to turn to the left. So after make six, he's going to go right again. Okay make four and of course if I do make four copy paste again but now I change the index number to four and I'm going to make two same thing copy paste and change the number to two inside of the index all right there we go so now I go to my functions I call make four and went to the right so the next one needs to go to the left I'm going to call make two right there. And once again, I'm going to alternate. So now we're going to go to the right. So we're going to go up right, right underneath there. Okay, let's make sure it's working properly. Okay, he's going to the right, there's six. All right, he's got three. So the next one's going to be one on the top, right? Okay. So I'm going to call make zero after two. And again, I'm changing that index number to zero. And then I'm going to make my agent move forward by four and go down by five. So it goes all the way down to the bottom. And this is the really cool part. Watch what I'm going to do here. This is awesome. This is really fun. I'm going to put a different type of inventory in that one slot. So I'm going to put that instead of having the block of grass, and we're not going to have TNT this time, I'm going to search for a pressure plate. There's a pressure plate. So that way the pressure plate will <laughs> ignite the TNT. This is so cool. Okay, so now I'm going to have the agent place the block, but he's not going to place it forward. He's going to place it down, down on the ground below him. So that way he's almost steps on it. Let's see what this looks like. This ought to be really cool. All right, here he goes. Oh, there's a chicken in the way, so he couldn't do one of the blocks. 
there's three, there's one, there's my pyramid, and oop, he set it all. Oh, look at that. It exploded. How fun is that? You can see my practice pyramids in behind there. But look at the big hole I made. And there's my agent, still fine. And there's the chicken, still fine, thank goodness. And that is how you make a TNT pyramid. Thank you for watching.